Well, Coach, first of all, how are you feeling? How's your health? Health is all right. Had a little flight today. Foot swole up pretty bad. It throbbed like heck on the plane. But Sam was there to comfort me. Great job, Sam. Thank you. <laughs> uh, what do you feel like was the biggest thing that you guys accomplished in the bye week? Uh, being more disciplined. Uh, we worked our butts off. We, the kids really responded. They practiced hard. They really did. And uh, the key focus was discipline. We got a little more healthy. A few guys were banged up. We kept them out of practice. But over the break, we really wanted to focus on the goal, understanding what's ahead of us, and coming back with the right frame of mind and more discipline. I noticed you put out on Twitter before that, um, I guess like a message or maybe a letter. A letter. I wrote a letter to the kids. Did that? I like, say kids, my team. I'm sorry. Did that come from anywhere? Or it came from me. It came from but my spirit. I mean, um, just from experience, you just felt like you needed to do that. Yes, because I, I I feel the kids. I feel their heartbeats. I feel how they function. I, I feel the trappings of life that they're they come up against. I, I've been in that situation. I've been on that side of the fence. There, therefore, I'm kind of attached and connected to what they're uh, privy to and the kind of mess they could get into. Talking about Alabama A&M, mm -hmm. uh, one, a lot of people say the toughest team to play is a good team coming off a loss. Ain't um, hear nobody say that. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> a good team that coming off a I loss that needs to get back and get a win. I, don't, I didn't hear nobody say that. Uh, the toughest team to play is a team that's, that's smart, tough, fast, and disciplined, and that's okay. what we're trying to be. And what do you think of them? Uh, they're good. They're a good football team. They're, um, I think they're well coached. They have a phenomenal quarterback. Uh, defense a little suspect, but they have a phenomenal offense, and they're well coached. Do you think this is the two best quarterbacks in the SWAC right here? I don't know. I haven't seen them all. Yeah. I haven't seen them all whatsoever. Uh, I can't make that determination until I see them all. I know what we got. We got one that's pretty darn good. What do you feel like right now is y'all's biggest weakness? The running game. We got to be a lot more physical up front offensively. We're trying to assert ourselves to that and, and understand why we are uh, as physical up front. Uh, a little more inside run this week during practice. Uh, hopefully we bring solvency to the problem. What makes Glass a good quarterback? I think he's uh, patient. He has a tremendous grasp on this offense. He's been on this in this offense for several years, so he understands all the, um, the combinations, all the advantages to the offense. He's able to check off into – routes and combinations that they're pretty good at. Uh, I love what he brings to the table. I, th I think he's a pro. I really think he's a pro. Do you have a relationship with their coach at all? Outside, no. Outside of just playing? No, no. I, I've, uh, I think the only time we've met is, is crossing paths um, after the game, you know, exchanging pleasantries or whatever that was. <laughs> Is this a game that the team circle on the calendar considering no. they have in the spring? No, we circle every game on the calendar. I think we lost three times in the spring, so we had three circles on the calendar if that was the case. <laughs> no, no, this is not one like that. Uh, truly, we every game is circled for us, and we don't think about the next opponent until we uh, get finished playing this opponent, and this is a tremendous opponent. Mm -hmm. Warren Newman, you know, just continues to show out. How does he get better in practice? Uh, he goes 100 miles an hour. He's full speed. He just, uh, Mr. Newman is really good at what he's doing. Uh, as far as a receiver, just understanding coverages, understanding his purpose on the field. Uh, sometimes it's, it's not on you to get the ball. Sometimes you got to clear out. You run around, clear out. And he's, uh, he's doing a great job of that and getting even better with that as at time as time goes on. But I love what he's contributing to the team, offensively as well as special teams. He should be uh, the best special teams player in the, in the SWAC right now. I know the best return man. Yeah, he leads the SWAC with 212 total punt return yards. Yeah, I don't I don't like the yards thing, but that mean you uh, that what that means to us is really good. Matter of fact, I take that back because that means he's got a lot of punt returns. So that means the defense is doing their job. That's the way I equate that. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty darn good. Can you talk about Aubrey Miller, Coach? Aubrey's, Aubrey's balling, man. Aubrey, uh, as a football player, he's always been stout. Yeah, he's, he, he really understands the defense and our expectations of him. He's really walking a, a lot more in the, in the leadership role like we desire him to. And uh, he's, he's making plays. He's making plays week in and week out. And he practices consistently.
So first time I talked to Shadur early this morning, man, I was talking to him about, you know, make sure he was healthy. He said he was healthy, he's ready for the game. And I mm-hmm. asked him, I said, is there anything he's alarmed by with the Bulldogs defense? And he said no. So when you think about, you know, their defense in general, does any, is there anything that comes to mind? Uh, when you say alarming, now that's a cute question that you said, alarming. I'm, I'm pretty sure he said no, n- nothing's alar- alarming because he studies his butt off. That's why he's saying that. Um, I can't say they're great. I, I can't sit up here and tell that lie. Right. They're they're a good defense. Uh, they've made some mistakes. We just hope to capitalize on the mistakes that they've made. But uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to show up and, and be prepared to sh- stuff the run like opposing teams have done, and they're going to deal with us with the pass. Good. Appreciate it, everybody. Thank you.